white as best as you want it as you can see i'm putting the little dot area there as you can see there's a bit of gap so you edit free transform and you can expand that i'm about to expand it but height wise as well and there you go so that's what it's going to look like uh in your blending modes uh change it to uh screen so there you go right next thing what you do is add another texture which i put below the blue uh that this layer here this layer you just put on that texture one so um i get rid of that so this one is going to be another kind of sort of texture with little dots and stuff which is here as you can see it's a Japanese lighting or something of cups anyway so um, drag that on again as you can see it's gone under it so that's good right as you can see the cups you can see the that layer it's a little bit too small so I'm going to have to do a bit of zoom out because um, it's going to be quite, I've got to make it quite big. So what you do is rotate it. So it's like that. So as you can see that that will go here. And then what you can do is expand it. So it's something like this. You just don't want to see that. Um, you just don't want to see the cup which is at the top so the top uh, the cups just out and then you change that to screen as you can see um, you can always change the opacity of it maybe change it a little bit lower what I'm, what you're gonna do is now that you set that to screen as well onto the blue layer is um, you can uh, duplicate that layer so you can see, and then move that layer a little, maybe somewhere where you've got less at, and then change that opacity as well. So it's just showing. So like that, what's that? That's about 17%. I might change the one below it, which is at 75. I don't like too much there. Something like that, okay? So, um, these, these pictures are a little bit too... Um, a little bit too light so what I'm gonna do is go on those layers so I'm using this one here this right picture is I'm gonna do um, image adjustments and then brightness and contrast if you can see brightness and contrast so what I'm gonna do is hopefully change the contrast and then change the brightness of it all I don't want it too bright I don't want it too dark either something about that so you can see the character a lot more more prominent the character is there so I'm gonna do the exact same on uh, the bottom layer you can always it doesn't uh, the other layer this one here you don't have to use the same but you just want to make the contrast a bit more and then you can always darken this area like I'm gonna do the color of something like that. you see you don't want it too bright like that you can if you like that sort of thing that look sort of effect but you want it a little bit like probably about there I'd say and all you have to do after that is just add your text whatever that may be say a magazine or something <coughs> and then simply just change the um, blending modes to something like that this is soft light and then just put this somewhere that you can you can see something like that or you can always uh, free transform it so you can have it coming across or something if you want to add text to it something like that there so you can always change that opacity again so you can have it quite light so you can kind of see what it means but you don't have to you can leave it blank or just do some pages but if you just want a picture you can get rid of the the font but if you just want a double uh, spread picture there you go you can get a cool little effect um, by adding these sort of textures add them to your uh, color 
I think kind of the blue oceany kind of uh, look is quite nice. And um, yeah, that's my uh, final outcome. I I've done another one um, that I did the other person the other way, and I did a bit of text. Not much different, as you can see. I made it a lot brighter there, and I added a magazine bit there, but you can't see it. It was my last mission because that was the words mission. So and then the other person is looking the other way on that one. So you can get different sort of effects but it's good to go over an image it looks quite nice and professional and th this is what they would use uh, for photography magazines and stuff that um, or graphics magazines um, I hope this has helped I'm gonna probably um, I'll put this in a raw all the pictures the textures which are JPEGs and the brush as well and I'm gonna uh, try to do some more um, tutorials uh, like this on Photoshop as soon as I can. Okay, um, hope you enjoy this, and as all, see you next time.